Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you my new everyday makeup routine and I'm also going to be testing the Kiko Powder Power Lipstick. If you are new here, hi, I'm Joanna and I do all kinds of makeup and beauty videos so consider subscribing but if you want to see this entire look then just keep on watching. Okay, so these are kind of a mixing of products that I've really been loving the combination and I'm going to start with the hydrating primer because the foundation I'm going to use is a little bit more matte so for primer I've been loving the Primark Vitamin Primer and this one is very hydrating So for foundation during the winter, although the winter is already over, I really like to use a more full coverage matte foundation. So I've been loving the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation, but for an everyday makeup routine I don't use much. So I've taken one pump and I dot it all over my face then I'll just use a little bit more if I need more coverage in any area and I've been liking to apply it with a flat foundation brush So even though this is a very full coverage foundation, I feel like this way of applying it leaves a very natural finish. And even though I do still have some imperfections showing through, I feel like this amount of coverage is perfectly good for an everyday use. I've been using the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage and I haven't been using a lot. I've been taking a little bit on my inner corner and also on the outer corner. I've actually been watching Robert Welsh, he's a makeup artist here on YouTube and also on real life as he says. I'll try to leave his channel linked in the description box. And the concealer, I've been using either the Jessup Petite Steepling or the Concealer Buffer. I think I'm going to use the small one. So I focus it mainly on the inner corner and also a little bit on the lid. I just spread the product and then on the outer corner. Then I take it a little bit across on the under eye area. Maybe just use the stippling to blend a little bit around the edges. But I feel like this leaves a very beautiful finish. Powder. I've been using something very simple. This is the Primark Banana Pressed Powder and as this foundation is already very matte I don't need much powder. I just use a little bit on my under eyes and then a very small amount on the rest of my face. brows I do something very simple. I fill them in just a little bit with the Cien Brow Perfect brush and pen and then I use a little bit of the Essence Make Me Brow Gel. I 
As you can see, I just keep them very natural. For my face and also a little bit for eyeshadow, I've been using something I don't usually use, but it's very useful because it's got everything on it. It's the Freedom Pro Blush Palette Bronze and Baked that has a few highlighters, blush and bronzer. This one I actually think it was already discontinued, but this was from Makeup Revolution, kind of a sister brand. And I've really been loving this shade as a bronzer. blush I kind of take a little bit of these two shades also because the pens are not too big so you just kind of end up taking a little bit of both and they do have a little bit of a shimmer nothing too much but I really like that Highlighter. I've either been using this one or this one. Today I'm using this one. It looks really pigmented and the other one has kind of a weird but strangely nice kind of a gold green look. I'm also going to do my eyeshadow with this. I'm going to take this one on my crease and then a little bit of this one closer to the outer corner. Also, I've been loving to use this one to travel when I go out on the weekend because this has a really nice mirror. And also for everyday use, it's incredibly useful to have everything you need on one palette. So I also take this shade on my lower lash line. And I'm now taking that darker bronzer just a little bit on the outer corner. A little bit of a gold shimmer and it is also very nice as a face bronzer. Now I am taking this shade all over the lid so I am using this with a flat brush but I usually also use it with the finger. I'm just going to press a little bit more with the finger. This is a really pretty shimmer. And with a very small brush, I'm taking again this shade on my inner corner and brow bone. So for eyeshadow, I've either been using this one or the Kiko Green Me eyeshadow palette in the color Natural Credential. That is this 9 pen eyeshadow palette with a lot of neutral colors. I really like this palette for these kind of more cool toned mauve shades but I'm going to take this dark brown and just smudging it on my lash line. 
I'm using the Jessup Wing Liner Brush. So I've been either doing this or doing a actual winged liner. This is a very discreet thing, but it will just make your lashes look a little bit more full. I'm also lining my waterline with the Kiko Everlasting Kajal because I really love to see a black waterline. But on the top, I focus it just on the outer corner. For lashes, I've been using either the Kiko Standout Volume Buildable Mascara or the Flormar High Definition Mascara. I'm using this one today. Curling my lashes a little bit. Okay, so that's the eye look finished and for lipstick I've either been using the Flormar Silk Matte Liquid Lipstick or the Kiko Velvet Passion Matte Lipstick but today as I mentioned I'm going to test the Kiko Powder Power Lipstick this is what the packaging looks like and I bought mine in the shade 05 I think it smells like vanilla, so I do have some lip gloss on my lips, so actually not a lot anymore, so let's see how this one applies. Super soft. Actually, it doesn't feel too dry matte, feels very comfortable. Okay, so that is the lipstick applied. I feel like it's very, very soft. It's not the most pigmented lipstick but it does have a very nice color payoff it's very very comfortable on the lips and it's not the most matte i feel like it's kind of a satin finish and i think it's not transfer proof it did transfer but not too much and it does feel like it will wear off as a regular lipstick but yeah for an everyday use I feel like this is super super comfortable and it does have that matte finish but nothing too strong I probably still prefer the velvet passion matte that has the very very similar packaging to this one but it does have a gold bottom I showed it on my Kiko haul, but yeah, overall I really like this for an everyday use, not if you are looking for a matte transfer proof lipstick, but it feels super comfortable. It also feels kind of a hydrating matte instead of a drying matte, that's a very good thing. And to finish. I'm using the Primark Fix and Perfect Setting Spray. Okay, and that is my finished everyday makeup routine. I don't actually wear it every day, but this is a very go-to makeup. And I actually really like this new lipstick with the rest of the look. 
If you liked it, then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and let me know your makeup routine in the comments down below. If you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Thursday and also on the next few weeks a few extra videos. And that is everything for today's video. Stay safe and thank you so much for watching. Bye!